Hey guys, welcome back to the channel. My name is Dawson with Dinelli Defense and today is another beautiful day because we are back out on the range and we are here to take a look at the Canik SFX Rival Dark Side. So before we get started, this gun is clear, no magazine in the magwell, no round in the chamber, nothing on the extractor. This gun is clear, but take a look at that. It is a really nice looking gun. So this gun was designed uh, to be a competition style gun. It's got a five inch fluted barrel. Something that I really love about this gun is it's got these really deep slide serrations so that you can manipulate that slide very easily from the front. And you can see just how deep they are, but those are not sharp. Uh, they don't chew up your hands or anything like that. They're just very, very functional. As you can see, we got the lightning cuts in the slide. That's just going to reduce weight, and it's going to allow that slide to reciprocate faster so that you are able to get faster split times. Uh, so it's a very, very neat gun. One of the things, and probably my only complaint that I had about it, is I didn't like the texturing on the grip. I like the ergonomics of the grip and how it comes, but I didn't like the texturing on it. I wanted it to be a little bit more aggressive, so I went ahead and I did this stippling job to make it a little bit more aggressive because I took not this specific gun, but a different gun to a Mike Glover course with Fieldcraft Survival, and it was in the middle of summer, so it was super hot outside, and by the end of the course when your palms are sweating, the kind of light fissure that they have on there of that texture it just was kind of wanting to slip around in your hands and the more you go to the range with that other texture they uh it ends up getting filled with like dirt and grime and just a bunch of crap and then it doesn't it doesn't grip to your hand i wanted something that when i grip this gun it's going to grip me back and if my palms are sweaty it's still going to do the same thing so uh, this gun is a really, really neat gun. As of right now, I've got about a thousand rounds through it. I've had one failure with it, and I believe it was the ammo, and that's a pretty safe bet. It's remanufactured ammunition, uh, and I've had problems with that ammo across the board, whether it was with a SIG or a Smith & Wesson or anything like that. So it was the ammo as far as I'm concerned, and I'll give it a break on that. And again, a thousand rounds. This thing has been phenomenal. I haven't even cleaned it because I've wanted to see how it's gonna run and uh so far this thing has been a champ so we're gonna start shooting it uh forgot to mention that i have the holosun 407c on there uh which i think is just a really good red dot optic and uh so let's get to shooting All right, so this gun is an extremely accurate gun, very fast. The recoil impulse is just very light. Like it's not really a lot of felt recoil in your hand. It feels really good. Uh, again, for me putting that extra texture on there too, it allows me just to kind of bite down on that gun just a little bit more. Uh, the trigger on this gun is absolutely phenomenal. In fact, let me... gun is clear so the trigger on this gun is an aluminum flat face trigger and there's the wall so you got a little bit of take up you hit your wall and just watch this break it breaks at 90 degrees just barely even moves so reset right there break again this gun shoots extremely fast and that trigger is one of the absolute best striker fire triggers on the market i've shot or i've, I've used walther triggers out there but this trigger right here it is it is fire that is for darn sure so we're going to step it back to uh, 50 yards and see if we can't hit anything on target and see how accurate this gun is if i miss back there it's because of me not the gun i know how accurate this thing can be uh so let's set back there all right guys now we're back at 50 yards we're going to see if we can be accurate with this we just got a 10 inch steel gong down there so it's not like a full-size iptic target or anything like that uh, we're going to try to get some hits. This gun is extremely accurate. If I miss, it is absolutely all me. It's a little cold out today. I don't know if you can tell by the snow-covered mountains and everything. Uh, but we're going to try to get some hits on target here. So... A little high. There we go. There we go. There we go. There we go. 
Only missed two out of those right there. Uh, again, that's just a 10 inch steel gong. It's not uh, not a full size IPSC target or anything like that, obviously. But this gun is extremely, extremely accurate. I absolutely do love it. Those first ones that I missed, uh, that was my fault. Uh, I was kind of pulling down with the trigger and uh, I went just a, just a tad low there. Uh, but again, a very accurate gun. We're gonna also step it back up to 70 yards here and see if I can't hit anything from there. I also forgot to mention that I'm using just the holster that came with it. So this is the holster that comes with it here. Uh, and I wanted to test this out and see how good it stands up over time. And I probably got between dry fire and my trips to the range about 2,000 reps out of this thing. And it's a decent holster. It'll definitely get you by. But if you don't hit it just right, it'll want to kind of bind up on you a little bit. So I do plan on getting some custom holsters made for this gun. Uh, I do plan on putting a light on it as well. Uh, probably a TLR1. And... Uh, so yeah, let's step back to 70 yards and see how accurate we can be there. Okay, now we're back at 70 yards. I'm gonna see if I can get any hits on target. Whew, it's a little cold. I'm gonna try not to yank any of these shots from back here. Trigger discipline from here is extremely, extremely important. So. Whew. Got it. Ooh, a little high. all right so missed a couple of those again that was me trigger discipline it's a little cold out here i'm a little shaky uh, absolutely not the gun's fault but this is an extremely extremely accurate gun and guys i wanted to mention that i am by no way sponsored or have any relationship with canic i bought this with my own money i just really really like their product i would recommend it like i said the only thing that i had an issue with which is not a big issue was just the grip texture and i fixed that with the stippling job this thing is absolutely amazing. It is ran, I mean, just like a monster. I absolutely love it, so I would recommend it. So guys, if you enjoyed this content, please remember to like, subscribe, comment down below, and just do all the YouTube stuff and things there. And uh, remember, don't be caught off guard, train for the unexpected, and I will see you next time.